so welcome students uh, in today's lecture we will solve one more problem of projection of line so in the previous session we discussed uh, previous problem we discussed uh, the bearing concept in today's problem also we will discuss bearing as well as one more new concept that is gradient so this problem is combination of gradient as well as bearing so what is mean by bearing so bearing is nothing but apparent inclination of a line in case of top loop so instead of beta we are using the bearing concept or bearing convention and here in order to for for bearing you require two directions okay so here e 40s means from east to south 40 degree you need to draw a line from east to south how to draw it let me draw very simple line here just for sake of understanding okay from east to south 40 degree so means the angle is 40 degree from east to south so this is the line what we are looking at just hold on so this is the line which is east to south 40 degree you can measure the angle if you want let us measure the angle it is correct or not yes okay so the east to south 40 degree here with respect to a one more addition we can do with respect to a with respect to point A means what the point A lies here if it is written point B means point B lies at this point okay so this is with respect to point A means point A is somewhere here and at the other end we have point B so this is by the simple way you can draw the line with respect to point A okay so let me remove this let me remove the dimensions as well yes so here gradient so gradient is 40 percent so bearing part over bearing part is nothing but apparent inclination of a line in case of top loop now gradient part so gradient nothing but it is a true inclination of a line in case of in case of front view that is nothing but it is a theta nothing but gradient but instead of theta we are using the convention as gradient means it is a slope so you do not have theta angle given so angle is not given in place of angle slope is given so how to draw a 40 percent slope line very simple what i will do as we know that in our graph so suppose let us assume so this is your y axis this is x axis so y is a vertical axis x is a horizontal axis and if you want to find out the slope of this line let us assume this is line and this is line oh sorry i will take this way okay so you can see here so this is a line a random line we have drawn the slope so here we can denote so this is y and at this side we have x okay 
So, this distance is x, this distance is y. If you measure it, let us measure the dimensions of x. It is 11.2. Let us measure the dimensions of y. We have drawn random, so do not worry, 4.19. So, y by x is your gradient. So, what is y? 4.19 divided by x 11.2. It is a 0 0.37 into 100. So, 37.41 it is the gradient means this line is of gradient 37.41 percentage. Okay. So, random dimensions we have drawn here y is 4.19 and x is 11.2 and this line possesses gradient of 37.41 percentage. So, that is the simple way to draw or to find out a gradient of a line. Now, here in this problem gradient is given that is 40 percentage. So, we need to draw a line of gradient 40 percentage. So, what we will do? We will assume one x distance. Okay. So, let me re uh, delete these distances. Okay. So, what we will do? I will remove this line as well. I will remove y as well. So, what we will do? We will assume or we will draw a line of, of having any length. Let us take x equals to 25. So, I will remove and I will draw a line x equals to 25. Random line or 20. Let us take 20. Okay. So, this x is a 20 mm that we have assumed it. Now, we know that gradient value is nothing but y by x. So, x is known to you, x is known to you that is 20. Gradient is known to you 40 percentage that is nothing but 0.4. So, 0.4 equals to y by x. So, 0.4 equals to y by 20. That is a simple equation. So, multiply 0 0.4 into 20, you will get 8. Means, from this end, we will draw a 8 mm line up. Okay. So, this is the point, 8 mm point up. Let us measure dimensions of this line. Eight mm. Okay. So what do we have done? Very simple. Random twenty mm line. We know gradient equals to y by x. So we have assumed the distance x equals to twenty, and by calculation that is point four into twenty, you will get eight mm. So you have obtained one point here at this point. Now I will join this end, or better, I will name it this end as a f. So, point a f is known to me. So, point a f and I will join this end and I will extend it. Let me remove. So, I have drawn a line, I will change the color to white because gradient is nothing but true inclination of a line. So, this dimensions need not to show, I will remove 20 and 8, this y as well need not to show, ok. So, that was the construction part, remember this was the construction part. After, after drawing this line, you can remove this part. Now, here 
true length is given to you as this is a true inclination so do not write theta here because theta is not given to you gradient is given so later on we will denote that gradient line true length is given that is 60 mm so what we will do so this length we need to draw 60 mm so let us measure it first what is length of this line So this is 21 mm it is not sufficient so we need to draw a 60 mm line okay so this is a 60 mm line let us show it dimensions of this line 60 okay it is a white line okay because it's a true so you will use a white color okay now and this part need not to show let us remove it because that is for just for construction so true length you have obtained so you have drawn a gradient line of 60 uh, 40 percentage so this is a gradient of 40 percentage line and length is 60 mm we have locus of point a now so this is locus of point A. Now what we know front view length is known to you that is 45 mm. So let us draw locus of point B first. So this is locus of point B. Over this locus of point B, I will move this locus of point B. Now front view length is given 45 mm. So over this 45 mm locus of point B from AF you take compass and radius equals to 45 mm and mark one arc over this locus but here I don't have any option so I will use circle so this is my center point and my radius is 45 it cuts at this point somewhere here so I will use red color oh, 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 oh. line from this point to this intersection point and I will remove this circle okay so what I have obtained over this locus of point B I have obtained point BF okay so point B you obtained point bf what you obtained so point b also you can name it we will copy the same it's taking some time but uh, we don't have any other option let us name it b k okay so this is point b bf locus of point b is obtained now let us draw vertical projection from all the points vertical projections down no for that we will use yellow color so vertical projections down yes from all the points vertical projections down the line should be exact parallel to each other no zigzagness no here no zigzag simple lines these projection lines should be very very thin it is visible to you only your eyes only now bearing what is next given bearing is given that is south east to south 40 degree so what I will do I will just use this pen okay in order to draw, draw a line okay so east to south 40 degree so means from east to south we need to draw a line 40 degree line we don't know its we don't know its length so first of all let us locate point a h
so this is point a h so this is a point a h okay means with respect to a means from this end we need to draw a line over this from this point a h we need to draw a 40 degree line from east to south so let us draw a line from this corner and angle is 40 up to up to we don't know its length but up to which we know that bearing is a top u inclination of a line or apparent inclination of a line we have point bf so bf and bh lies over the same projection so projection of bf is known to you so up to up to this projection we will extend our line so let me remove this hole and i will extend it from ah 40 degree okay why is it changing okay now from ah we are extending line up to projection bf what is the angle 40 yes the color is red color because it is a top view so what we obtained locus of point b in case of top u so this is a locus of point b in case of top u let us copy this same remember you need to show the same dimensions convention system see the arrow marks how arrow marks are given how arrow marks are here the lines from point a f b 60 mm how it is written just exactly at the center above this line do not break this line and in between okay how bf is written so here i have the facility to show you in different color but you need to use different pencils yes use 2h for projection lines h for front view or top view front view and top view or and some darker line for front view top view and some thin lines for true length okay so that should be clearly distinguishable so point bh you have obtained it so i will copy this same so this is point bh okay so locus of point b is also obtained locus of point bh is also obtained sorry a point bh is also obtained so ah bh is the ah bh is the top u so let us measure the inclination because inclination is given to you that is bearing is given to you 40 degree remember east to south 40 degree with respect to point a angular yes there is a 40 degree okay so problem is almost solved but still through inclination you need to obtain top view you obtained but phi angle needs to be find out phi means true inclination of a line in case of top view how to find out so rotate front view up to the locus of point a so rotate front view up to the locus of point a so you will get so locate uh, af bf rotate up to the locus of a then from this point vertical projection down up to the locus of point b join ah b you will get true length in case of true length in case of top view yes very simple so just for understanding purpose i will delete this line okay now we will rotate front view if you rotate top view you will get true length in case of front view so that also i will show you but before that i will rotate af bf and in order to rotate this it will cut at this particular point i don't have 
facilities to comp use compass. So what you do? Use compass. Take AF as center. AF as center. AF BF as the radius. And draw an arc. Okay. Draw an arc. So this is starting point of the arc. This is the end center point of the arc. So you draw an arc which will cut locus of point A at somewhere here. Okay. Remember, I am rotating, you just see how I am rotating this line up to this point. Then, this intersecting point, you extend it down. So, this arc facility I don't have to draw. So, what I will do? Center point and this is my radius. Yes. So, it will cut somewhere here and from this point, I will extend the projection down. Okay, I will remove this circle now because that part is over. So as you can see, I have rotated this line up to, I have rotated this line up to this point, then up to the locus of point A, then vertical projections down up to locus of point B. Now I will join from point AH to this length. And obviously, this is a true length. Okay, this is a true length. If you determine the angle, let us determine the angle. So, 36 degree. Okay, so angle is 36 degree. So, true angle is always smaller than the apparent angle. You, you can see apparent angle is 40 degree, true angle is 36 degree, no problem. Okay. So this is the by way uh, you can I will yes okay okay now so by using this way you have determined the true length in case of top view if you rotate top view you will get true length in case of front view how to do that. Let us take the arc. This is the starting point. This is the center point. So I will rotate the arc. Yes. From this point, vertical projection up. Vertical projection up. So this is my center point. This is the center point. And this is the radius from this point vertical projection up you will get the locus of point it will intersect over this somewhere here and that is your true length okay so very simple so by using this way if you rotate front view you will get true length in case of top view if you rotate top view you will get true length in case of front view okay you just rotate it, this is the starting point, this is the center point. If you rotate arc, it will this point, from this point, vertical projection up. Okay. Let me show you once again, this is the starting point, this is the center point. This is the point, I'm sorry. This is the point and from this point, yes. Yeah, from this point, this point, you can vertical projection up, up to this point B. Okay. So, by using this way, so that is projection of, uh, rotation of line method, you can solve the problems. So, here, only difference is that a gradient. So, gradient is nothing but true inclination, whereas bearing is nothing but apparent inclination of a line in case of top view and gradient is a true inclination of a line in case of front view. That is the only difference you have. So, practice the more problems.